Top Billy, Texas. Top Billy, interesting name, wants to explain why yeah. uh, Top Billy believes in intelligent design. You're on Talk Heathen with Objectively Dan and Johnny P. Angel. Uh, why do you believe in intelligent design? Right. Um, first of all, my name's not Top Billy. <laughs> I don't. My name's just Billy, so I don't know why. Uh, I don't know where where that first part came from. But, We're gonna uh, fix it. We're yeah, gonna fix it. Sorry about that. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, I've called the show before, but okay. I've just never talked to you guys, and um, cool. I, I just want to run my argument by you guys to see, um, you know, how you uh, how you respond to it. Um, I uh, I believe that uh, that. Um, the universe is best described by an intelligent source. Um, I believe that something intelligent is responsible for the existence of the universe and for life. Um, uh, the reason I believe that is because science and philosophy support that answer more than any other answer. Uh, and so, okay, that's not a reason, but you know, that's just citing something um, else that says, "Well, these people say that this is right." So. That's yeah. the reason. So what yeah. is the reason? Yeah. Well, examples, you mean? Like examples of... of no, you just said science, science and philosophy support me, therefore this right. is why I believe it. So what is the reason why science and philosophy support it? Like, that's just begging the question. Well, um, well, science science supports it uh, using things like the genome, um, which is... Uh, which is not intelligent. Which is not the design of the universe. But okay, it's a science. Yes, yeah, science supports the existence oh. that genomes are a thing. What does that have to do with design? No. Well, the code, the sequence hypothesis, is is uh, the hallmark of design in the genome. What do you mean? There's a se there's ge there's sequences in genomes. What does that have to do with design? The code. Uh, the uh, experiments like Avida and EBWare and other simulations have demonstrated that nature cannot sequence a, a, a functional genome. Uh, I disagree. Strong disagree. Um, I'm not sure which experiments you're talking about, to be honest with you. Um, but biologists have been talking Avida. about how, again, I, I don't know which ones you're talking about. So I can't cite that, you know, can't, can't specifically talk about what you're mentioning. But this idea that uh, that their okay. nature can't produce a functional genome is something that creationist apologetics have talked about for a long time, and nobody in the field of biology is is really talking about it in the same way, to, to my understanding, right? Like, so genomes um, are whether they're functional or not, it doesn't mean anything. Even if it was an, a dysfunctional genome, that doesn't prove design or not, right? So, like, you know, whether or yeah. not. No, it, it does it. You're talking yeah, about whether yeah, yeah. Supercomputers no. have identified have identified algorithms embedded in the genome that are forward thinking. Um, the the code the code is comprised of upwards of thirty different languages, including punctuation and numbers and and uh, and all kinds of stuff. There, there's scientific literature that demonstrates that that uh, there's peer reviewed scientific literature that supports that. Like like yeah. there's a uh, there's I a paper in, in nature literally called G the genome is a code uh and it and it, it explains all of this uh I, quite clearly actually i don't think supercomputers have proven like forward thinking in genetics again this is just me just like completely disputing this claim here yeah. um i don't like I mean, that's not I don't think that's within the purview of science first of all to even determine something like that but you can at the, deny it. Have, have you ever heard of bioinformatics? Yes, I'm aware of bioinformatics. Uh, bioinform bioinformatics wouldn't exist if the genome wasn't a code, wasn't a literal code, not a metaphor. Okay, I, gosh, the literal code stuff is always, it's just really aggravating because like you, you it's just an assertion. It's just an assertion that, that this stuff is really complicated no, uh -huh. and because, yes, it is an assertion because you can't been, show us the designer. The genome, Nobody who has ever years. talked about intelligent who design cares? has ever been able to point out a designer that has ever shown the act of designing. Show me a God that designed something. Show me God designing anything. It doesn't happen. What we do see is the changes in genomes and the changes in genetic information over time. And using those principles, we can extrapolate from there that we've seen everything that we see in nature, 
all kinds of genetic information starts and begins with natural processes. I've never seen a God design something, have you? The existence of something is not dependent upon whether or not we know who, who, who made it. Okay. Uh, the, it, well, we if can, you're proving can, design, can then design. yes, it does actually. Okay. Look, you're getting angry. You're getting angry, which is kind of what happens whenever an intelligent design argument is always uh, is presented here. Um, I mean, it's. I'm sorry that that you're not, you know, aware of of things like Abida and Mendel's accountant and AB Aware and these different simulations that uh, that exist that demonstrate so, that. Bill, so, Billy, uh, it sounds like unnatural. It sounds like you've read read quite a bit on this subject. Is that is that in, does that indicate that you? Oh, I have. You have, yes. Does that indicate that you work in this yeah. particular field of science? Uh, that that would not be an, a direct indicator that I work in the field, no. So, but do you work in this field of science? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Do you have expertise in, do in I, this do I field to? of science? Um, I believe so. What is sure. your expertise in this field of science? 25 From, years of studying. Like the, okay. the definition of an, of an expert is somebody who knows more than the average person. So I think I know more than the average person. So your 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 I'm... basis for saying that you are an expert in this field of science is that you've been studying this for twenty five years. But what I'm trying to find out is you've been studying it from is it laboratory experiments? Is it uh, are you working at a uh, with some sort of a a lab or a university or with uh, research? institution or is or are is that what you're doing well um no none of that okay uh, all right none of that stuff so is that required is, is is that required is that a requirement i'm not saying it's required i'm asking you where you base it so 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 basically if i watched <laughs> i'm going to ask you if i read um history books uh for 25 years on world war ii and I read other people's work on World War II history, would I, after 25 years, also be an expert in World War II history? Um, are you reading peer-reviewed scientific literature? Yes, let's or, say or, I'm reading peer-reviewed scientific books. literature. Then yes, you would be an expert. I would be an expert, okay. So um, yes. do, you have a do you have a degree in, in, uh, in the sciences? Is that a requirement? That That's required? not what I'm asking you. I'm asking you, do you have a degree in the sciences? I mean, I, I don't think that that's... Think I'm that's asking you whether you have a required. degree in the sciences. Objection, non-responsive. So is it a yes or a no? Okay. Do you have a degree in the sciences? I, 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 I choose not to answer that question. That's personal information. I'm, I'm not fair, going to do that. Fair, fair enough. It's not fair enough. It's, it's, it's personal not information. That's not what I'm asking. So I'm going to take that to be a... Well, you know what? I'm not going to assume a no because I don't have a reason to say no. But it, you have it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter whether you have an expertise in this or not, right? Exactly. I don't it, exactly. It, 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 what matters is the evidence that we're looking at. And and now it does matter if in in partic in, in interpreting that evidence. I will say that like it what a mm -hmm. a a you know required requirement of having that degree is being knowledgeable in the field of study. Obviously, you've looked at some of this and I'm here mm -hmm. just telling you straight up mm -hmm. that I've looked at Can some I of this too. And my and and I don't I don't think it's reasonable. I, I again I'm not familiar with the simulations you're talking about, but I don't I don't know that I have to be. Um, I don't think that we need to. You know, simulations are, are irrelevant to me as to whether or not it can happen because we we've sh we've seen this happen. Not know. Say again. To know about it than not know about it, but I said it's yes, I agree. But I can't it, know everything. Know I get asked a lot of a lot of different stuff on this show, yeah. and I'm sorry I'm not familiar with every mm -hmm. single yeah. possible thing that comes up in creation of science. Gosh, yeah, yeah I Billy. I mean, you, you I would, Billy, you bring up, you bring, yeah. Billy, you bring up a good point. If if these peer-reviewed journals are out there that are making these conclusions, obviously the state of uh, scientific knowledge does not begin and end with two studies, with two reports, with two articles. Yeah. That science again is a process. There will have been peer-reviewed journals reviewing the work of these peer-reviewed journals. There will be a continued process. It sounds like some, from your perspective, one or two studies have resulted in this conclusion. 
And so now are you oh. telling me that you're willing to stop and that's good enough for you? Or are you going to wait to see no. what the prevailing? Why would I do that? Uh, okay, very good. That's that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah, but I would I, never do that. But you know, that's you good. know that that's Oxford good. Oxford University did a Oxford University did a three year multi million dollar international study uh, that concluded that belief in a higher power is a natural human instinct. What the fuck does that have yeah. to do with anything? That's, that's We're something talking about whether or not functional genomes are the result yeah. of natural processes or whether they're the result of intelligent design. I don't care what Oxford has to say about whether belief in a god is a natural instinct or not. That doesn't mean anything to us yeah, right now. You, you, jumped, you jumped to something else, Billy. And I think what you're doing is you're trying to find other reasons to support a belief that you already have. I, and I, I don't know what you've been reading for 25 years. I don't know who is pointing you in the directions of what material, but I worry that um, you're selecting for those, those works that agree with you already. Have you read a lot of material that suggests that uh, there is no indication of intelligent design b behind uh, the genomes? Sure. I've seen people's uh, I've seen people's uh, you know arguments against uh, against these ideas or these facts. Very good. Uh, yeah. And what and why were you not persuaded by um, by these others' works? Because they were not persuasive. Okay. Okay. So, what made the work that you do believe persuasive to you? Um. Well, because there was uh, hard scientific uh, experimentation that was done multiple times, and and mm -hmm. and uh, by independent sources, and each one came back to the same conclusion. Okay. So, how do I, you how do you select the articles that um, that you choose to read? What is the process by which you select the ones that you want to learn more about? I don't. I they don't just select them. I just read them. I just read them all. You read all of them, them all. Are put in front of me. I, I read. I read all of them that are put in front of me. I read them. Yes. That are put in front of you. Okay, that's an interesting. That's an interesting way you or put that, it. There. Or that end up, or that end up in front of me, and, okay. and I search a lot. So. so you you search. You know that um, when you search, and I run into this. I run into this issue with the nonprofits, but I guess I run into this just generally in life. Is that I. I try not to search for the things that already reinforce my belief. I try not to, but I know that yeah. that there's a natural human instinct to do so. Uh, what are your what are your um, what's your protection for preventing you from researching only those things that support your position? Um, my knowledge that uh, that I don't want to be a bi I don't want to have a uh, a uh, selection biased and mm -hmm. and so i you know i broaden my horizons I, I'm, trust me I'm, I'm i'm not a you know i don't make things up i'm not i'm not a fundamentalist i'm not a some kind of weirdo uh I, I'm, I'm out there to learn the truth let me ask you a question do you guys know the truth do you do you know the truth the what, truth what, does, like, what like, do you mean know the like truth you're, you're talking you a lot of times you uh, i hear I hear people on the show say that uh, that you want to know more true things and less false things, right? Yes, and That's, and mm -hmm. and and so you've and so you've given up your uh, your belief in a higher power because you want to know the truth or you want to learn the truth or something like that. Have have you learned the truth yet? The truth but, with a capital T. It's a weird I, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that. I mean, you're, we're constantly Sorry. learning new things every day. I don't know that there is one unambiguous but, but the truth. I don't know if there is no, one what, unambiguous what hard is, truth. It, is it? Is it? It's possible that somebody, even the weirdest person who's ever called your show, they could call your show and they could be right, and you guys wouldn't even know it because you I, don't know the truth at all. I, we don't know the we truth. We don't know at what all. the truth is. I don't even know what you've defined as the truth. Yeah, You're just, what's the truth? Yeah, what is the truth? What are you talking okay. about? Okay, look. I know, if, I if you, you if you want it, if you want right. it to sound like the crazy guys, person on the line right now, like that's what you're sounding like. Like you don't have to paint yourself no, that way. You don't even. Like, you don't like, even. You you 
you don't even know what the word truth means. I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. If right? you, not, the, hey, listen, philosophers have many different ideas of what the truth means. We are asking you uh, what your yeah, definition yeah. of truth is. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Truth yeah. People God, have different ideas about truth. God. I'm so, okay. So the there, there we go. God. That's what I'm wondering. Thank you, All Billy. Right. Okay. I, so whether or not that there's would be, a, I figured that would be uh, a given. It's not. It's not a given. It's not a given. People well, have many different all, ideas. This show is Listen, about. Billy. We Billy, have people calling if, in about about Billy, putting if homosexual somebody people came, in jail. Billy, if somebody came up to you on the street and says, "Do you know what the truth is?" <laughs> like, are you just going to immediately assume you know what they're talking about? Like, I don't know what you're talking about when you say that. If okay, I was so on like a show that was direct. That was if I was on a we, show that Billy, we hear all actual, kinds of people. Uh, People, all, all kinds of people, all kinds of people talk about all kinds of truths. You cannot make that I assumption. It, but but we're, going, we're going on a tangent. We're going it. on a tangent. Really? Let's, let's get it, focused. It's I all get, right. You, you know, you it. said earlier. You Listen. said earlier today that we were upset anytime uh, an intelligent designer calls in that the hosts get upset. Well, this is what happens more often than anything else. The caller gets upset because we're not following I'm along not the path. I don't know. What you're well, well, you, you seem a little no, bit I'm animated upset. there, Billy. You know, yeah. I. I might be wrong. I? I can't see your face. You seem well, a little I mean, bit animated. Yeah, I'm not animated. No, maybe just, okay. maybe just I a little get bit. Let's focus on this conversation, yeah. please. Let's get focused on this. I would like to know, so, Billy. Do you so believe that evolution? Question. Answer my question you, about truth. Answer, answer my question is, about truth. What is the question about truth? What is your question? If somebody called up, if somebody called your show and they knew the no, truth, no, would you be I able mean, to know they, whether or not they know the truth? Ah, that's so. That's such an ambiguous question. I have no idea whether to answer yes or no to that. I honestly have I no idea whether to answer yes or no because it's it's not very well defined. That but I I am I am interested. Yeah, it well it shouldn't surprise you. I guess I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you, Billy. It doesn't. Yeah, Listen, I guess Billy, if you're used to asking okay. vague questions, you, you, you're probably getting that a lot. That yeah. people don't know what you're asking. That wasn't a very vague. Was it's a, a very vague question, question as we've cool. already established, Billy. No, I'm going to beat really. you if you let's. All right. Well, now, now we're talking about opinions here. So, Billy, if I came to okay. you and I asked you the truth, and whether you know it or not, would you be able to tell? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Well, See how easy that was? I don't even know if you know what I was talking about. I didn't know what I was talking about just then. So, I, look, this is, this is just pointless games here. <laughs> we got to wrap things up. But, Billy, is oh, evolution geez, yeah. a real force in the world or not? Is evolution, as described by biologists... Do you believe that evolution um, well, does have, happen, or do you or do you make the distinction of scientists? Go ahead. I have faith in the scientists who've done the work. I have faith that they that they've done their work properly. Okay, yet. so you. So yes, I believe that. I believe okay. that evolution happens. Great. So did, did, did we're human beings? A, we're talking about a wait, wait. We're talking about a system where random mis mistakes uh, result in improvements over time, which which is a you know basically makes a mockery out of entropy. So I mean, but no, you don't believe in evolution. Whole, then. On, okay. whole other That's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. Argument. So you do not believe in evolution? Oh, I do. Then. I do believe. No, no. Because, I do, what do I you do, believe? Human believe beings have evolved. <laughs> Human beings have evolved. Yeah, yes, did human beings course. evolve. Okay, did we evolve from apes, from yes. other ape species? Well, uh, from what scientists say, we've got a, we share a common ancestor with with the great apes. Yes. Okay, so you do believe that? Yeah, I mean, I believe that the scientists have done their work properly. Okay. Okay, so oh. that's that's yeah. evolution. Okay. That's right there. So, do you believe that was a okay. natural yeah. process, or do you believe that God had something to do with it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That's a good answer. That's a very I, good I, answer. I don't think. I, I know that. I know that scientists have never identified a beneficial mutation, uh, like an actual beneficial mutation that that results in uh, novel information in the genome. Mm. But but yes. that's a whole, another whole. Art, um, and I also uh, know that again. people have made but, direct, but, exact responses to that exact yes. quote just there. Like this is, yeah. this is a creationist talking point that has gone on for longer than I've been alive. Okay, so I'm yeah. I'm not going to address it here. There's other people that have addressed it, and we're at the tail end of the show here. Yeah, and we I'm, are. I'm, I, so I'm kind of done with this conversation. Billy, I really do appreciate you calling in. Of course, calling again some other time. Um, you know, it was an interesting conversation, um, but uh, that's a complicated topic that we just can't solve in one call. So. Yeah, and evolution, by the way, does not describe the process by which God intervenes between interspecies development. Okay, so if you do believe that God 
interfered in that process and that it wasn't the result of natural processes, then you do not believe in evolution, at least from what I understand. So that's that's my take. But Dan, we, we got to wrap things up, John. Dan, you're get you're get you're getting so animated I'm, I'm, there. You listen, got a lot of listen. This is talk heathen. I get to do it this on this show. I don't, I don't do this on my show. This no. is it's different different ball game. This is the away game, baby. You Woo! got that. You got that. Well, now I'm a the... host now. I take that back. I'm a host now. So you're, now you, this is yeah. also a home game. Except that you got the NOS so. turned all the way up. You got the nitrous oxide. You're ready to go. I'm, you're living fast and furious, Dan. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm ready to slam. Ready to slam. Welcome to the jam. That's right.